Today we're checking out some more weird five minute hacks from five minute crafts. I always forget if it's crafts or hacks. What's going on here? Have two of your friends stick multiple lines of tape on your butt. And then spray paint it. Those are a perfectly good pair of jeans. They fit so good too. Those are probably your favorite jeans. As she came to work one day like, okay, you know what? You're gonna have to trust in the process. It's okay, just take off the tape and wait, that's it. That was the hack. Y'all just spray painted some lines on some jeans. You know, how to ruin a perfectly good pair of jeans in five minutes or less. Are your jeans too big? Just take a stapler and staple them to fit you, idiot. You would think that's obvious, right? What are you gonna do with the rest? Cut it off? Oh, they're seriously gonna cut it off. What about the staples? Oh, and then you're just gonna sew it? And wow, a perfectly fitted pair of jeans. Who said stapling was just for papers? Reminds me of the episode of Family Guy. Or was it Simpsons? Anyways, he had like a bunch of extra skin and he just like takes it back and like staples it. Oh, maybe it wasn't a stapler. <laughs> I'm thinking of this meme where he takes all his extra skin and he just like pins it back and then takes his back fat and like ties it into a knot. Okay, yeah. Okay, another jean hack. What happened to her jeans? Somebody took two pizza slices out of it. I mean, maybe they just like cut it down on the side and then they're gonna lace it back up. Cause who doesn't love having cold cheeks? I'm all for clothes that got like random cutouts. Like cut out on your thigh, cut out on your tummy. But like your butt cheeks? I would like them covered. I'm sorry, did a pregnant woman just dig a hole with her belly to plant some cilantro? <laughs> No, why a dig hole like this where you can just plop a belly in it? I've been digging holes wrong my whole life. Oh, maybe I should just get pregnant. I'm a cute pregnant. Planting things would be a lot easier. If you are pregnant and would like to lay on your stomach, sleep on a tire so you don't squish the baby. No, for real though, what happens if you sleep on your stomach if you're pregnant? The baby gonna come out like this. <laughs> that cannot be comfy. Blow a balloon through a hole. Oh, makes for a unique baby shower card. How are you gonna put that in an envelope and then send it to people? You have to like physically hand it to them. Like, oh look, here, take my blow up card. It's like a single man making up these hacks for pregnant women. Y'all ever get so hungry you eat a zipper? Oh wait, whoa. You know, unfortunately, some people are too stupid to just like put their zipper together and then pull it up. They gotta put it on a fork to assist them. Some people need all the help they can get. What filth did they pull out of the iPhone's holes? There's no way. I mean, I got a case on it and then the case covers the speakers. So I don't know, people who exist without a phone case, are you okay? How are things at home? <laughs> Filthy plants, just take some tape and just lint roll them. Y'all ever lint roll the bugs off your plants? <laughs> Very creative way to torture the bugs eating your plants. You know what, I actually might try it. And usually I just like spray them away, but like this could do nicely. Horrible driver, need a little squishy? Put an army of squeaking chickens on your bumper. So every time you hit something, it's <laughs> Nice, it's the sound of a warning. Whoa! I saw a Kim Kardashian hack of this one. So when you wear something that's like low cut and you want some cleavage, you have to like tape like they're taping the balloons. It doesn't work. I've tried doing that once. I mean, I feel like you have to put a lot of tape and you have to like do it like halfway down your back and then grab your boob and then just like, I don't know. It just like holds it up. This is actually like a legitimate hack. What did they put around their car? A bubble? That's gotta be AI generated. That cannot be real. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. <laughs> did you see what they just did? Okay, this is actually quite creative and it makes me wonder if it actually would work. You put a deflated basketball and then blew it up inside the car and kind of like popped it out. You know what, in theory it makes sense, but also I heard like boiling water, like you pour that on like a dent in your car and it's supposed to like pop out. There's something very suspicious about this bagel. Oh, what is that? No, oh! I've seen this before, up close. I thought it was chocolate, but it's just poppy seeds. It's poppy seeds like 
up close. Like there's 4K and then there's whatever this is. 8K, 16K, I don't know. I feel like it's illegal to see things this closely. How HD is too HD? When you can smush the poppy seed and see juice come out. Ah, this activates my trypophobia. Sometimes I'm thankful the human eye can't see this close. I wanna see this, not this. Take some cheese slices. Yeah, a couple more. It's a whole lot of cheese slices. Make a hole in it. You know, you can go to the store and buy cheese with a hole in it. I don't know if you guys knew that. Okay, you lost me. You layered cheese and meat and then deep fried it into a donut. I think this is what people in other countries think Americans eat for every meal. Just take everything and deep fry it. Why are they covering this woman full of pennies? She is not the Walmart coin machine. Are we cleaning the pennies? Why did we cover her with a bunch of dirty pennies? Was this a punishment? Did she do a bad thing? So instead of locking her in the basement closet, we're gonna cover her with filthy pennies. While she's in the basement, don't forget to take her toothpaste and individually brush all of the pennies. It's not good enough that they're clean. We're gonna stack them on top of each other and then drill a hole in them. You could just drill a hole into a stack of pennies? I feel like it would not be that powerful. I mean, you gotta make holes in it somehow. Oh, what are we doing? Making a necklace? Yeah, I thought this was a five minute crafts. I have five minutes. I'm going to watch this on my lunch break and attempt to duplicate it. So far, we're at a few hours. You expect me to soak my pennies in some Coke and then individually brush each one before drilling it and making it into, what is this? Next year's Coachella fit, the penny princess. Now the first part makes sense. She's dreaming about wearing pennies. I want a really cool, unique dress and I want it to cost me exactly $5. It's gonna take like five days of your time though. And I thought this started as a punishment and then it went to a penny cleaning hack and, and then a penny dress. With five minute crafts, you never know where you're gonna end up. Probably in jail. I feel like a lot of this should be illegal. What did they, ah! Okay, you know if you ever have some silicone laying around make a, a mold of your tongue Yeah, don't forget the teeth like where do you find all of these things? Oh, they're making an airpod case with tongue and a teeth. We're gonna paint it flesh-colored You know add some nail polish for some lip gloss oh, Okay, I don't like the piercing. Oh, it's not even done. This thing is terrifying, but it's actually pretty cool You know y'all are so Creative. Just make a channel called Five Day Crafts. These will take several days to make. Like with the with the making of the mold and then waiting for it to dry and then taking it out and then making the other mold and then making a mold of each individual tooth. My dentist can't even make teeth molds that quick. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. It's creepy. I like it. Oh, it's like a handstand. You know, there's two kinds of handstands. A handstand and then a handstand. <laughs> so stupid. You know, you couldn't have put like a cotton ball or a tissue. Y'all put a mini strawberry in this woman's ear to make a silicone mold. Okay, go off. Wow, it actually looks like an ear. It's like a perfect replica of her ear. I just made a phone case. Okay, what about the camera? Oh, they cut up a hole for that. Oh, they're already two steps ahead of me. They cut up a Coke can. Okay, you need some kind of like backing. We're making like this legit. Okay, you know what? This is actually really cool. Add a piercing to it. Five minute crack? No. Five minutes of crack? Possibly. I'm telling you, they be pulling random things out of the jar. Ear, phone case. <gasps> Genius, make an ear phone case. Take a banana, preserve it. Oh, so the stuff that they pour to make the molds is silicone. And then they pour things inside the silicone to make like a duplicate. Well, a gallon of silicone later, you have a banana mold. Now you can make an infinite amount of bananas. All you need is some liquid plastic. Just pour it in the mold, paint it yellow, and then you have a faux banana. And then make like five more. They're gonna make a hat for this dude. It looks like cardboard. It's like between cardboard and plastic. A lot of people use it for cosplay, like to make armor and stuff. I've made armor out of this before. But like basically you put it on something and then you use the heat gun dryer and then it just like molds to the shape of the thing. See, it's molded perfectly to the head shape. Warbler, that's what it's called. It just came to me. Sometimes I'd be forgetting things. It's like a magical substance. I guess it's a helmet. Go bananas. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Nobody got time for all that. I don't like the way you just did that. You know, why cut things and put them into the salad when you can just have a net and smear them through? This is horribly unrelated. No, it's actually very much related, but it's just very disgusting. But there was a meme. It was like, what do you do when you have to poop in the shower? I can't show it. It's poop. Do you take it and then just throw it in the toilet? Or do you mash it down the drain with your foot? And then I was like, whoa, do people actually do this? 
this and then uh, I told somebody about this meme and they confirmed that some people do that. Okay, well that's what this reminded me of. I have that knowledge and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna take some strawberries, some aloe vera, some banana. Why is the little banana? What are we making here? Okay, this is interesting. Wait, it's growing? What kind of frankenfruit are you growing with that? A little bit of banana, sprinkle some of this and then enclose it together and they had some kind of baby. Some kind of fruity love child. Why did you have some banana and aloe vera in it? Like, is, that, is it gonna grow a strawberry? Yeah, I don't believe a thing that they're doing. I feel like they're just like attaching strings to random objects and then saying it's roots and then just putting it in the dirt. I feel like people who watch five minute crafts are sayers and not doers. They will not try the hack. They just watch it online. And they're like, whoa, I should try that. And then they never do. And then that's why we never know if these things actually work or not. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.